solve the system of equations solution. There's two ways to do this. We can do it algebraically and we can do it graphically. Let's do it both ways. First, let's try to do this algebraically. So we're going to use what's called the elimination method. We want to get rid of either x or y. So in this case, you'll notice that if we multiply the first equation by negative 7, when we add it to the second equation, we should get 0. So let's go ahead and multiply the first equation by negative 7. If we do that, we get negative 7 x squared minus 7 y squared. And then 7 times 4 is 28, but the 7 is negative, so this is negative 28. Then right below it, we can write 7x squared plus 7y squared equal to 2. And now we can add both equations. So we add. So when you add negative 7x squared to 7x squared, you get 0. Here, when you add these, you get 0. And here, when you add these, you get negative 26. So 0 is equal to negative 26. That's obviously not true. So there is no solution to this system of equations. Now, the other way to do it is a little bit more clever. So you simply rewrite the first equation. And note that this is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius equal to the square root of 4, so 2. And dividing this by 7, and rewriting it over here, you see that this is a circle with center 0, 0, and radius the square root of 2 over 7. So if you do a rough sketch, you basically have two circles centered at the origin. And solutions to the system of equation, equations correspond to the points of intersections. So since these circles never intersect, they never intersect, there is no solution. Kind of a nice way to think about the problem uh, graphically. I hope that helps.